Ed Lee, a text question. Would you pardon all federal nonviolent drug offenders? Uh, yes. And I did this as governor of New Mexico. What I did in New Mexico is I said that anybody that's in jail for just drug use only, uh, that I would actually commute those that sentence. I only found two individuals in all of state prison that qualified uh, for that, and I did commute their sentences. But when it came to pardoning uh, nonviolent drug offenders in New Mexico, uh, in this case, these were uh, offenders who had actually uh, carried out their sentences, whether that, uh, whether that was uh, actual time in jail or probation or whatever. Uh, we set up a criteria for nonviolent uh, drug offenders uh, to get pardoned. And this is not official, but I think I issued uh, hundreds of those pardons for individuals uh, who had uh, committed these nonviolent crimes, who had served their sentences, and had clean records uh, since. Uh, and yes, this does need to be a part of the federal equation when it comes to uh, drugs. I think we have uh, millions of Americans that, but for our drug laws, uh, would otherwise be taxpaying, uh, law-abiding citizens, uh, but now carry felony convictions. So, Governor, you, you would, these are very tight parameters we're talking about. This is this is this is for, as you said, someone who has maybe been caught using a substance, not selling, dealing, uh, or attributed to any kind of other uh, link to crime. But uh, but really tight parameters as far as what's uh, forgivable, so to speak. Yes, and, and back to nonviolent, and uh, we, we included uh, sale in this also, and uh, by, by sale, there were individuals that sold drugs that had, and, and I maintain that the, uh, that, the, that the drug pusher is a very misunderstood concept, that uh, for the most part, the drug pusher is, uh, is yesterday's drug user that's now being thrust into the selling role because the seller has been caught and is uh, serving jail time. Uh, we've, we've become very, very good at, in this country uh, at, uh, at arresting and uh, convicting uh, individuals that sell drugs, small amounts of drugs.